Um, I imagine that this, um, like what I think Brian said in the prayer, and that we think about all the time is the um, freedom that we we have in our countries to have services. <laughs> And I, I think about it a lot when I'm here. I see um, um, other religions pretty prominent, and um, um, you wonder if that freedom will stay in in our countries. And. Um, in Daniel's time, they didn't have that freedom. We, they had to, they had to believe the way the king believed, or the country. This uh, this morning we have the Lord's Supper, <coughs> Holy Communion. <laughs> A sacrament that Christ has prepared for us. It's a meal of love. It's a meal of remembrance what Christ did for us. It's, it's to strengthen our faith. Come to the Lord's Supper. For the strengthen of your faith. Eat of, eat of his body and drink of his blood. He built the ark, he built the ship for the saving of his house. So he believed God. He said, God said that one day Noah lived on the earth and it was dry like this. No rain, no rain, no rain, no rain. For years and years and years. And many, many people didn't have faith. They didn't believe. And God told Noah, you build a ship. A big boat that floats on the water. And this is, that's what Noah did. He, he, he got uh, logs, trees. He got trees, he cut them. And he built a ship like this. And it didn't rain for years. Why would you build a ship in the middle of a desert? It didn't make sense to the human mind. And the people, the neighbors, they laughed at Noah. Why do you build a ship? There's no rain. It hasn't rained for no water. No water. No water. No water. Why? Why you build them in the middle of the desert? You don't. You you're crazy, man. It doesn't make sense. But God told Noah to build the ship, and and Noah by faith believed. And so God said, "Okay, now open the door." And, and put the cows in, and put the goats in, and the chickens, and the birds, all animals too. I think she's cooking fish because she was descaling them earlier.
Endeavor to be a Christian, believe their sins forgiven. God has promised us a gift, you and me. He has God has another book in heaven. It's called the book of life. Your name is in there. Your name is in there. And when you meet God, he shall say, No sin. It'll say your name, and it'll say no sin. And you will be able to go into the um, realm of heaven. Let let no then he further writes he says let no man say when he is tempted i am tempted of god god doesn't tempt us the devil tempts us but god tries our faith he tries us he gives us trials one time i had a big fam i have a large family richard's my oldest and i have uh many children and all of a sudden i didn't have a job that was a trial how do i feed my children i think how how, how do i feed my children how do i pay the bills I have a large family and no job. That was a trial for me. God tried me. He tried my faith. And, you know, I worked hard and tried to make my bills and pay my bills. And after a while... You who uh, grow crops and grow gardens, you sow the seed. And you know if you put your seed on the wayside, it will sit there and, and, and people will walk over it. And trample it. And trample it. Stomp the ground. Then the sower put his seed on the rocky ground. Very hard ground. The seed cannot penetrate on this type of ground. You cannot grow a crop on there. 
And then the, the fourth type, uh, third type of ground was the sower took his seed. And he sowed into the, the ground with thorns and bushes and weeds. The crop came up. The crop came up. Soon the weeds grabbed it. Just like this, the, 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 and then the seed here, the birds came and took it away. And then the seed sower took the seed and he sowed it into the good ground. What type of soil do you think yielded the best crop? Which is the best soil? Which is the best soil? One, the road, two, the rocky ground, three, the, the bushes and the weeds, or for it, the good soil. Which one is the best? So, Four. Yes, you were. You answered correctly. Four. Remember, Is it good soil? Good soil. Yes, correctly. Everybody agree. Four is the best soil. Yeah. Yes. Good. So Jesus compared these four types of soil to the heart of man. Not the heart on the road, the, the road that gets trampled, the seed gets trampled. Not the heart or condition of a rock where the seed doesn't penetrate. And not the condition of the seed of a heart where the weeds overcome. But Jesus wants to have this type of heart. The good ground. The good soil. And God will help us. And he prepares his word and prepares the heart of a believer. And so this is the condition of, of man where God's will is that we would believe. So you can lift up your heart. And you can rejoice. That the word of God is being preached this this evening here amongst in your midst. We pray that you would accept this word. Because with this type of heart, when we believe through faith, we'll get to heaven. All of us want to get to heaven. I want to one day reach reach the home on high to see our Savior. And we can only do that with a, a, a heart of a believer. So you can lift up your hearts this evening to believe all your sins forgiven in Jesus' name. And the of believe unto peace, freedom, and joy. In Jesus' name, amen.
Genel si Yonbi. Genel for why? Ah. This is one inside of goal, Jamie Vardy.